Hello friends, today we will look into another item from Effective Java. This is regarding including failure details in the exception. So from our APIs, we throw unchecked and checked exceptions. Whenever an exception is thrown by an API, so we need, we need to include enough information regarding the exception. This is critically important because this information will be useful when you are debugging an issue, especially when that issue is not easily reproducible. Even I have experience in my career like uh, in few of the cases where issue is rarely reproducible. In those cases only source will be the logs and log should contain enough information to debug the issue. So in this item Josh mentions how we can include the information relevant to the exception. So whenever we are including an information, we need to think in what context the exception is thrown. So the relevant information which is particular to that context for that particular scenario, so that should be present in the exception. So for example, let us say we get index out of bond exception. In those cases, it is ideal to include the lower bond, the upper bond and the index which you are trying to query in the exception. Ideally they should have been provided here but in JDK it is not strictly followed. From JDK 9 they have included the index which is partially satisfying our uh, condition but it, it would have included all the three parameters. But when you are implementing your own custom exceptions it is very much important that you include all the information in the constructor of the exception. So it is also important to remember uh, we need to include the relevant fields particular to the exception and also we should not include any sensitive information like passwords or security related information in the exception because they will be very much visible in the logs. So we, we need to take a conscious decision here so what information needs to be provided and what needs need not be included in the exception. So by having these in the constructor, we are forcing the user of the exception to provide this information. So rather than depending on two string method, so this two string method uh, directly which is inheriting from throwable so which will basically convert this uh, which of the parameters you have provided into a, a proper readable format and you can override the two string here to use the whichever the parameters you have provided in the constructor to provide a formatted error message so remember we need to provide the relevant fields in the constructor of the exception to be used for the error message. And also we can provide accessor methods. So accessor method in the sense uh, whichever the fields which we provide here, so those fields can be accessed th through using the uh, for example like getter methods. For example if you see this exception class 2 large exception, so here whenever uh, a class uh, overflows the number of constant pool items so then this exception is thrown and in those cases we are giving an as an input constant pool count along with the class name so for this we have this constant pool count as an accessor method so this will be particularly useful when you, you want to try to recover from those exception the caller of the API he wants to recover from those uh, exceptional conditions so in those cases he can use this accessor methods. So providing the accessor methods is particularly important for uh, checked exceptions because um, as we discussed in the previous items we want to recover from those conditions whenever a checked exception occurs. So unchecked exceptions are not recoverable those are all uh, uh, something which are uh, where Precondition is failed for calling an API. So for checked exceptions, we need to provide the accessor methods. In summary, 
any exception custom exception which we create that needs to have the context in which the exception is thrown so those de details needs to be provided in the exception so for those we need to design the constructor in such a way that user of the exceptions needs to provide those information to create that exception we can provide the accessor methods for checked exceptions so that the consumer of the api can recover from those conditions hope this is useful